I've seen a lot of videos and guides lately on how to reach max light in Destiny, and with the Tuesday update coming up with the hard mode raid and the update to 400 light, I figured I'd throw in my two cents. Now, no doubt about it, when Rise of Iron first came out, the best way to rank up was to get into an Omnigal farm and just wail on her until you hit 365. But Destiny's drops are always changing as Bungie updates the game, and in the most recent weekly update, Bungie detailed exactly how the update is going to affect the light level drops this coming Tuesday. Now, if you'd like to pause at any time and read more fully, you can, but the big things to take away are that blue engrams are going to drop to 365, purples at 385, and exotics at 400. If you'd like to see how activities are changed, you can just pause right now. In my opinion, one of the best ways to level up is to just hoard your engrams and then decrypt them as necessary. And the easiest way to get legendary engrams for me was to do the daily public events on each character. I would get anywhere from one to two engrams per character, and then some blues thrown in there as well, with modes of lights and legendary marks, which we'll need later. So now that you have your engrams hoarded up, it's time to go to the tower and start decrypting what you need. Now, the whole idea about this is using your engrams as wisely as you can to get the most out of them. So you want to be your max possible level whenever you decrypt an engram. Now, my hunter here is at a pretty high level right now. He's 355, you know, he's raising up. He's got some really high gear on, but his scarf is really holding him back. So we're going to need to replace that with the legendary class item engram that I have right now. If I could use it, I would keep it. Now, if I any, had any other light gaps to fill, I would do them right now, but my character's pretty solid right now, so I'll just equip the cloak and call it good. So here we are at the Iron Temple. I finished all of my weekly activities, my raids, my nightfalls, everything, and I'm done on my hunter. I'm ready to switch over to my warlock. So my strategy here is to go to your iron book, grab all of the iron gear, so that you can switch over to your Warlock without losing any light progress at all. For this example, I'm only doing the class item. Once you have all of the gear open, what you're going to do is you're going to put the highest gear from your character into the Days of Iron gear for the next character that you're going to play on. So right now, I'm just going to get rid of the Hunter armor and the Titan armor and put that new cloak that I just got into this Warlock bond so that my Warlock can be a higher level when I'm playing on it. That way, when I'm doing its weekly events, such as the raid, the nightfall, etc., everything that drops is going to be that much higher, and then I can proceed onto my Titan and do the exact same thing. I hope my little video helped you guys out and helped you guys to hit rank 400 as fast as you can. And, you know, this is my first ever video, so if you guys have any suggestions or anything for me, I'd really appreciate them. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you.